Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on my first official video of my channel, The Lucid Mystic. My name is Haley, and I will be your guide to lucidity and other states of consciousness. To start off my channel, I just want to talk about one of my biggest passions right now, something I practice every day, something I coach people on, something that my life kind of revolves around, actually, um, and that is lucid dreaming. For those of you who don't know what lucid dreaming is, lucid dreaming is the ability to realize you are dreaming as the dream is happening. So it is not just like a vivid dream, it's not a dream that just feels super real. You are conscious of the fact that you are sleeping in your bed, but you are roaming in this crazy 3D reality that is created just by your mind. And if you've never had a lucid dream before, it feels just like real life, sometimes more real. And this is because our senses in the lucid dream are heightened, so it's like a hyper vivid reality that is super engaging in all of your senses and in every way possible, and you can do so many things within this state. It is truly, truly, truly life-changing, and for this video I just want to go into some of the benefits of lucid dreaming before we dive into how to lucid dream in my future videos. So the first thing I want to just mention is kind of what I mentioned before. It is an entire world created by your mind, so you can go on any adventure you choose. The laws, the laws of physics do not apply. You can really do anything you want, hang out with anybody you want. It is truly, truly, truly incredible. And the lucid dream is extremely thought responsive. So as soon as you think something and expect something to happen, it will happen. And so you can use that to your advantage to experience anything you want. A benefit that I've really used a lot, or still use, and that I recommend to all of my clients is working with your nightmares. If you've ever had a nightmare that's reoccurring, or have frequent nightmares that may be different, you can actually train yourself to realize when those are a dream, and get lucid within the dream, and actually ask the nightmare what it represents. So whatever's chasing you, you can ask that what it represents, and it's basically an archetype within your mind. So it can represent a fear that you're running away from, a past memory you're running away from, some sort of emotional trauma, or something. It could be different for everybody, but you can literally ask your subconscious face to face, what does this mean? How can I get rid of it? How can I cultivate it? How can I use it to benefit my life? And it is super crazy, and it is totally legit. Next time you have a nightmare, I would definitely recommend getting lucid, or trying to get lucid, and figuring out what it means. Because once you figure out what it means, once you embrace that side of yourself, you really don't have that nightmare anymore. It's completely gone, because um, nightmares and the shadow side of ourself, which is everything we deny, suppress, or disown, is built on shame and it can't be shame if we embrace it and bring it to light right so that is the biggest benefit of working with nightmares for example one of the nightmares I had was reoccurring all growing up and once I learned how to lucid dream I actually trained myself to realize when it was a dream because I was like okay I seem to have this dream a lot um, so I'm gonna train myself next time I see this I know it's not real so I know I am in a dream and it takes a little bit of subconscious work, but it's pretty easy to do that. Some people can even do it the net, like in one day. So it really just depends on you, but it's really not that hard to get lucid. And all the work you can do, it's totally worth learning. But what I did in that lucid dream was ask my nightmare what it represented. You can call out to the sky, or you can call out just to the dream character that is chasing you, or whatever is happening in the dream. And what happened with me is it told me that it represented a fear from or um, memories from my childhood, um, and fears that I had in my childhood. And what I actually did was I just hugged this archetype that represented that fear. The thing that I've always been scared of in my dreams, running away from, I just embraced it, and I just hugged it as tight as I could, and I just felt this huge amount of love, because everything that you're experiencing in the dream is yourself. It is super, super vivid, and it's a huge world for you to explore, but all of it is created from your mind. So everything you're experiencing is you. So you never want to be like mean to dream characters, and obviously you don't want to run away from anything, because you're just running away from a part of yourself. So it gets super, super deep if you do want to do a lot of that self-work. I highly recommend it if you are having nightmares, because it will change your life especially your waking life as well. It really affects all areas of your life. 
Another thing that I love to do in the dream is call out questions. So your subconscious is actually the sky. So you can talk to dream characters and those are basically archetypes of your personality or different things that represent you. Um, and the sky is your subconscious. So if you call out to the sky, that is the more intelligent part of your brain and that's where a lot of work can be done. So you can ask out what you're meant to do with your life, what's going to happen in the next 10 years, what you should focus on, how to get rid of fears, habits, thought patterns, how to implement new thoughts and habits. Like it is truly, truly, truly life-changing. It's like hypnotherapy, but you're experiencing it. It's not just um, listening to an audio track or listening to someone put you into a meditation and you creating strong visualization. It is, you are experiencing it just like real life. And your brain actually can't tell if you're awake or dreaming. So anything that you do in the lucid dream, you're going to get basically placebo from it. You're really going to reap the benefits of it. So it's really, really, really awesome to get rid of those fears that you have, get rid of thought patterns, get rid of habits, and you can literally just ask them to leave or call on your dream to meet your thoughts or your habits that you're trying to get rid of. Because in the dream, they're all represented in images. So they're going to show up as archetypes. So like people, beings, things in your dreams. And that's how you can kind of get rid of them. You can literally see them in front of you. <laughs> it's not just something you have to try to mentally work on when you're awake. So it's really, really, really powerful to implement anything into your subconscious or even find out intelligent information about your life, even your health, even where you left your keys if you want to. <laughs> it is that crazy. So I highly recommend trying that as well. As I said before, your brain can't tell if you are awake or asleep when you're in the lucid dream. So if you practice skills, you're actually going to wake up with the memory and practice of said skill. So it's really, really, really cool. If you want to practice painting, singing, physical sports, video games, swimming, skydiving, whatever you want to do, when you do that in real life, your brain already has practiced it. You've already experienced it as as real as this reality. So it will feel like you've already done it before and it will make it a lot easier to learn. You can even do this with public speaking and just manifest a huge crowd and get over your fear of public speaking. So it's really good for any kind of fear that you have because once you interact with your fear in your dream, your brain is like, oh, are we okay with this now? I thought that we were scared of this, but we're doing it and we're just fine. Okay, I'm just gonna erase that part of the brain now that has that fear. So it's literally rewiring our brain using neuroplasticity. So anything that you wanna practice or explore in the lucid dream, it is definitely a safe place to do that. Another cool one is if you're having issues in your physical life or you have something that you haven't really thought of a solution for, you can actually talk to dream characters or your subconscious in the lucid dream and have a conversation. I like doing this with dream characters because it is a physical being or person that I can talk to and sit down with and it is so, so real, you guys. I cannot, I cannot explain how real this is in the lucid dream. It is just like real life. And they actually, uh, dream characters actually have a lot of information that you didn't even like think of before. So when you're trying to come up with a solution or, you know, kind of see your situation from a different perspective. It is really, really, really helpful in that way. It's really, really cool. Um, I even had, when I was uh, learning to lucid dream, I had a dream character that would always appear in my dreams that would teach me tips and have me try different things to lucid dream, and it actually worked. So whether it's an intelligent part of our brain that we aren't aware of, or whether we're getting these this information from other sources, the fact is the information is there and that is happening all within our sleep. And keep in mind, we sleep for 30 years of our lives. So why would we not want to work on skills and explore an entire reality with those 30 years? I mean, think about how much you can learn and explore in 30 years. Within the lucid dream, skills or anything you practice, it's seven to nine times more powerful than in the waking state. And so this can be really beneficial if you have a spiritual practice as well. I love to meditate in my lucid dreams, and even if I meditate for five minutes in the lucid dream, as soon as I wake up, it feels like I meditated for 
days. I am not even kidding. You feel so recharged and grounded and just so, so, so different in the best way possible. And whatever you do in the lucid dream, honestly, like, I wake up in the best mood and it lasts all day, even into the next day, sometimes even into the next day. It is so powerful for our subconscious and it really just creates an all-around positive energy, not just in your your sleep, which is so cool anyways, but when you wake up you still get all of those benefits and those memories and everything you experience you remember crystal clear. It is literally just like another memory in your brain that you've experienced in real life. So it's definitely worth trying really anything in a lucid dream that you want to work on. One notable thing to mention is this also works extremely well for like nicotine addiction, um, if you drink a lot of alcohol and you're looking to kind of cut back on that, you can actually go into the lucid dream and ask for that part of your brain to be unwired so you won't have that addiction factor stored in your brain. This is extremely powerful and my friend actually did this for cigarette smoking, he wanted to stop smoking and so he asked a dream character in his dream to make it so he doesn't have any cravings and when he woke up he didn't even smoke again like he was even around people that smoked cigarettes and he didn't even crave it at all um, his friend actually g actually gave him a shopping list to go to the store with and cigarettes was on that list he completely missed it like he got everything on the list besides cigarettes and it's because his mind programmed him to not even see cigarettes even written down on the list like that is super 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 powerful so whatever you want to use it for even if it's just for fun I mean that's 30 more years you get to use doing whatever you want and it's not like you have to take time out of your day to learn this I mean you're doing this in your sleep so why not experience this you guys the possibilities are seriously endless like every not even lucid dream every dream that I have is pretty different and all the lucid dreams I have are different because I'm the creator within those lucid dreams I can literally do whatever I want if I want to create my environment the other you know how whatever way I want to I can it's literally like you can just paint it how you want to you can close your eyes and imagine where you want to go and you appear there you imagine who you want to be with you anyone whether you knew them personally or not you can hang out with them, you can talk with them, you can do anything you want to. A lot of people, their first lucid dreams like to experience flying, and I did this as well. Um, there's so much more to do <laughs> than just flying, so make, make sure you try other things as well, but flying is so awesome, you guys. I mean, you feel the sun, like the warmth hitting your face, you feel the air rushing across your skin when you're in the air, you can hear the wind in your ears, Every, you, you feel your stomach drop when you're flying over everything because it's so, so, so real. And this helps get rid of fear in general. Like, it, it truly does so much for the brain. So much emotional healing. So much psychological healing. And believe it or not, this is the craziest part. I've even experienced physical healing through the lucid dream. Now let me explain this. Placebo is extremely powerful in the lucid dream state like we talked about earlier. And with me, I had a lot of stomach issues before. I was always in pain. I couldn't really eat that much. Um, it was just never easy to get through a day with that. And what I did was I got lucid and I asked for a guide in my dream to lead me to um, healing my stomach and someone came up to me they actually were in a truck and they just parked across the street and came over to me and led me to this healing pool they said I'm gonna take you to a healing pool of water to heal your stomach like you asked for and so I was like awesome let's go um, and I followed him and we went into someone's yard in the dream and it was just a swimming pool in the back and as soon as I got in the pool I felt the temperature of the water, I have everything it was so crisp, crisp, you guys. I can't, I couldn't even tell a difference from being awake and experiencing that and being asleep. It was the exact same, maybe even more real because your senses are so, you know, so vivid in the dream. And I just kept repeating, thank you for my healing, thank you for my healing, thank you for my healing. And the craziest part is when I woke up, I didn't have any stomach pain. And that's usually how 
I, that's how I started my mornings all the time. And I didn't have anything. And I can't tell you how big of a difference my life has been with that since then. I've had hardly any pain at all and it was a constant battle before. So even if people say, oh, it's just the placebo, if they say just the placebo, they don't understand the power of the placebo. Whatever it is, like, it works, you know? We've gotten results from it, and I know you can too. My clients have gotten amazing results from practicing this too, and I really, really, really wanna teach this guy, t teach this to you guys as well, because it's very valuable information, and it's just like any other skill. You just learn it once, and then you can carry that with you for the rest of your life, and cultivate it, and grow, and really become a master at lucid dreaming, and even get into out-of-body experiences if you're into that as well. I also coach people on that as well, but I always recommend learning lucid dreaming first because a lot of the fundamentals in out-of-body experiences do start with lucid dreaming. So I will go make sure to go into both of those topics with you guys because those are what I practice the most and those are what I coach the most. So I can't wait to get into more info about all of this and actually how to induce these experiences in future videos. Alright guys, well that is it for my first video on here. If you do like this content, make sure to check out my Facebook page, The Lucid Mystic Altered States and Spiritual Life Coaching. I'll make sure to uh, put the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content, and make sure to leave any questions or comments down below. I'll make sure to answer them for you guys. Until next time, with love and lucidity.